Good afternoon. Today's graduate school commencement ceremony is being streamed live and also will be available on demand after the ceremony. The link for the live webcast and the on-demand video for each commencement ceremony is www.k-state.edu forward slash graduation. Please turn your attention now to the video board for the opening of today's ceremony. Thank you. Welcome to Kansas State University's Graduate School Commencement. Graduate studies are the hallmark of a great research institution and serve society through the discovery of knowledge and creative endeavors. Kansas State University granted its first master's degree in 1871. Today, the university offers 107 graduate level programs to more than 4,000 students. Graduate students play a crucial role in the economic development of the state of Kansas, the country, and around the globe. It all begins with a passion for discovery, for learning, whether in the arts or engineering, in the lab, in the field, or in a classroom. This passion fuels success, resulting in prestigious scholarships, fellowships, patent awards, and scientific breakthroughs. With an esteemed and distinguished faculty to mentor them, the graduate experience at K-State is befitting a world-class institution. The mace, the robe, the hooding ceremony are symbols of the high academic achievement these scholars have attained, placing them among the most learned people in the world. It gives me great pleasure to It gives me great pleasure to introduce Terry Ferguson, our piper, and Miss Rachel Gross, our organist who will perform today's music.
Would you please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by Miss Madison Moore. You may be seated. Good afternoon and welcome one and all. My name is April Mason and I have the honor of serving as the Provost and Senior Vice President here at Kansas State University and it gives me great pleasure to welcome each and every one of you to this commencement ceremony. Before we proceed with the ceremony, I'd like to introduce the members of our platform party. Would you please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced? Platform party, as I read your name, would you stand and remain standing? Beginning at the audience's far left, Jackie Hartman, Chief of Staff and Director of Community Relations. Peter Dorhout, Vice President for Research. Tucker Jones, President, Graduate Student Council. Geraldine Craig, Associate Dean, Graduate School. Michael Herman, Associate Dean, Graduate School. Cheryl Polson, Associate Dean, Graduate School. Guy Palmer, commencement speaker and the recipient of our honorary degree this afternoon. Carol Shanklin, Dean of the Graduate School. Kirk Schultz, President of Kansas State University. Zoe Newton, Regent, Kansas Board of Regents. Linda Cook, Assistant Vice President of Communications, K-State Alumni Association. Jeffrey Morris, Vice President for Communications and Marketing. Amit Chakrabarti, Interim Dean, Arts and Sciences. Debbie Mercer, Dean, Education. And Fred Guzik, President, Faculty Senate. You may be seated. Continuing in our second row, Tammy Beckham, Dean, Veterinary Medicine. John Floros, Dean, Agriculture and Director of K-State Research and Extension. Tim DeNoble, Dean, Architecture, Planning and Design. Kevin Gwinner, Dean, Ad Business Administration. Darren Dawson, Dean, Engineering. John Buckwater, Walter. Dean, Human Ecology. Raju Dandu, Graduate Program Director, K-State Polytechnic. Cheryl Johnson, Vice President, Human Capital Services. David Stewart, Associate Dean, K-State Global Campus. 
Michael Haddock, Associate Dean, University Libraries. Janice Barrow, Associate Dean, K-State Olathe. Pat Bosco, Vice President for Student Life and Dean of Students. Cindy Bontrager, Vice President for Administration and Finance. John Curry, Director, K-State Athletics. Zia Wiley, Interim Associate Provost for Diversity. And Grant Chapman, Assistant Provost, International Programs. Would you join me in giving a round of applause? No commencement ceremony goes well without wonderful marshals, and I'd like to introduce our marshals today, and as I mention your name, would you please stand? Joyce Baptist, Associate Professor, Family Studies and Human Services. Rice Ann Collins, Associate Professor, Educational Leadership. Gerard Klutenberg, Professor, Agronomy. John Morris, Associate Professor, Accounting. Bala Natarajan, Professor, Electrical and Computer Engineering. And James Neal, Professor, Statistics. The reader today for the ceremony is Vincent Carlisle, Doctoral Candidate, Educational Leadership. Would you please join me in giving this group of individuals a round of applause? At our commencement ceremonies, we have the pleasure of hosting a Kansas State Board of Regent member. Our Board of Regent member bringing greetings from the Board of Regents today is Zoe Newton. Zoe Newton was appointed to the Kansas Board of Regents by Governor Sam Brownback in 2014. She's a practicing attorney and serves as the commissioner of the Education Commission of the States, an interstate compact that works to help bridge the gap between good ideas and effective education policy. Ms. Newton was born in Kingston, Jamaica, and came to the United States shortly after graduating from high school. She worked her way through the university and began practicing law in 2000. From 2009 until 2013, Ms. Newton served as the Vice President and General Counsel for the Hartman Companies in Wichita, Kansas. Ms. Newton received her bachelor's degree from the State University of New York, Binghamton in 1995 and a law degree from Cornell University in 2000. She and her husband, Gail, have four children. Would you please help me welcome Regent Zoe Newton. Thank you. Okay. President Schultz, members of the faculty and staff, graduates, and maybe even more importantly, the parents, supporters, spouses, Everybody who's been there for our graduates, I am honored to bring you greetings from the Kansas Board of Regents. Thank you for permitting me to join Wildcat Nation on this special occasion. Commencement symbolizes the culmination of years of study, hard work, and commitment. Commencement also signifies the beginning of the next chapter of your lives and the realization that your plan, however you conceived it, your plan has worked. You got your degree. You have proven to the world, and maybe just as importantly to yourselves, that you are able to set goals and do what is necessary to achieve them. It is in the next chapter of your lives where you will get to show all you've learned here at K-State, your ability to think clearly, creatively, and critically, to judge wisely, to act responsibly and collaboratively, and frankly, this is where it's going to get really exciting because you may not know it, but you're going to change the world. My husband's grandma, God rest her soul, was born in 1916. She grew up in a world that is incomprehensible to me. I mean, just thinking about all that she witnessed, just it blows me away. She grew up in rural Kentucky and she was in her 20s before she ever saw a, a plane or a car. 
Imagine a world without air conditioning, without TV. Granny came to my mind as I was thinking about what to say to you because it occurred to me that as I'm getting a little older myself, the world that I grew up in is probably just as incomprehensible to many of you. I still remember when color TV technology came to Jamaica and it was awesome. I remember watching the Olympics, it was so great. Also discovering that the Cookie Monster is blue was pretty amazing too. <laughs> then came the VCR and that's like an old school Blu-ray. The Walkman, that's like an iPod. Uh, microwaves, personal computers and kind of not at the Roxbury cell phones, you know the really big chunky ones? Yeah. The internet. None of that existed when I was a kid. But just like in Granny's lifetime, cool stuff is still being invented constantly. Oh, and I forgot the games. Like, Pong was like it for me, and compared to Xbox One, it's like the difference between a horse-drawn carriage and a Mustang. Well, whether it's technology, music, movies, fashion, medicine, agriculture, you name it, it started in the States. Uh, okay, so the Brits did a little bit with like James Bond and Sting, but really most of it start, started here and we couldn't wait to get it in Jamaica. And frankly, sometimes we didn't, you know, we'd have to take a quick trip to Miami just to get the latest stuff. Sometimes people decry consumerism, but it's really not just about the stuff. These advancements have improved the quality of life for so many people. Rural people in Jamaica and all over the world can now participate in the wider community. In tough to reach places where landlines were not cost effective, it is relatively easy to throw up a tower and boom, they have cell service and the internet. And so th the scope of this is vast, but it's also intimate. And if you'll indulge me, I just want to share a short personal story. So I loved super uh, superhero comics when I was a kid, and okay, Full disclosure, I still love them, so, but that's beside the point. Today's confluence of technology and art has allowed me to connect with my youngest child in ways I could never have imagined. The special effects in the movies are pretty engaging, and so he watches them with me and has grown to know and love the same characters I grew up with. So last year, I get to have this conversation with my son. Is Batman super? Well, he thinks Batman isn't super, he just has great tech. And so over time, we've discussed everything from whether DC or Marvel is better, he's DC, I'm Marvel, to what superpowers it would be cool to have. And I will treasure those conversations for the rest of my life. And that particular connection with my boy, that would not have been possible without the artistry, technology, and ingenuity of our people. On a more practical level, think of how many families have been supported by these industries that hadn't existed before. How many lives have been saved? How many more people have been fed by advances in agricultural science? We have just scratched the surface of what I know is possible. Wonderful things in art, science, technology, in every field. Things that don't exist today will be created tomorrow by you and your fellow graduates your degree from K-State, the excellence and preparation for the real world that your degree represents has positioned you perfectly to create the future. The cool stuff that improves the quality of our lives, whether it's a Fitbit or the latest app, it still starts in America. You are the inheritors of American creativity, drive, and ingenuity. You will meld disciplines to create platforms that will blow us all away and I for one can't wait to see what you'll do. Today as you graduate and become alumni of the Kansas Regent System, you join over 350,000 other alumni residing here in Kansas, either because they graduated and stayed or returned to make Kansas their home. I invite you to stay here in Kansas and help us grow our communities. I wish each of you joy, happiness, fulfillment, wherever your chosen path takes you. So again, on behalf of the Kansas Board of Regents, congratulations and Ima.
An honorary degree is among the highest honors a university can bestow and thus is reserved for those who have contributed in very significant ways to advance the quality of life for our citizens in the world. It is therefore with honor and great pride that Kansas State University recognizes an outstanding leader, Dr. Guy Palmer. Please turn your attention to the video board for a special introduction of Dr. Palmer, our honorary degree recipient and commencement speaker. As an undergraduate in biology, Guy Palmer got a part-time job at K-State's Rabies Lab, one of the highest volume rabies centers in the world. The director at the time was Dr. Harry Anthony, who became his mentor and sparked Guy's interest in infectious diseases. Later, Dr. Anthony helped Guy get a residency in pathology at Washington State Animal Disease Diagnostic Laboratory. These years were the foundation of his global perspective on health. A professor at Washington State University, Dr. Palmer was part of an initiative that resulted in the creation of the Allen School for Global Animal Health. He's the founding director and currently leads disease control programs in East Africa and Latin America as senior director of global health. The Allen School focuses on the animal and human interface as it relates to global health, not just infectious diseases or technology, but economics, medicine, sociology, and anthropology, a collaboration of various disciplines and partners. It is, as Dr. Palmer states, at the animal-human interface that emerging diseases incubate and spread, where rabies kills and desperately poor nutrition creates physical and cognitive stunting among children in poor countries. These are the challenges and the focus of Dr. Palmer's work. Worldwide rabies remains a huge problem, responsible for approximately 60,000 deaths a year, mostly children in sub-Saharan Africa and Asia, where it is carried in the dog population. Dr. Palmer is working to eradicate rabies through vaccination programs in rural areas. This includes strategies that involve communities and partnerships with private and public entities. His strong belief that everyone should have the opportunity to reach their full potential has led to his work dealing with the problem of stunted growth in children due to poor nutrition, especially the lack of protein in the diet of mothers and infants. And the challenges of antibiotic resistance will require a multifactorial approach reducing the burden of fever and diarrhea disease in children through vaccination and improved sanitation, as well as developing alternatives to antibiotic use in livestock. The answers will be found through multidisciplinary collaborations like Dr. Palmer's and that of those he trains and mentors. He believes all disciplines have a role in improving global health. Dr. Palmer heads the NIH training program in infectious diseases and microbial immunology, holds an NIH merit award for research on pathogen emergence, and is a faculty member of the Nelson Mandela African Institute of Science and Technology in Arusha, Tanzania. He serves on the board on global health at the National Academies and is a member of the board on the Consortium of Universities for Global Health. Dr. Palmer has been elected to membership in the National Academy of Sciences National Academy of Medicine, one of the highest honors for those in biomedical research and human health care. We honored him before as an alumni fellow and distinguished alumnus, and we honor him again today for his contributions to global health. Please welcome Dr. Guy Palmer. Dr. Palmer, for your leadership, your character, your humanity, and your goodwill, by the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon the recommendation of the Kansas State University faculty, I'm pleased to confer the Kansas State University Honorary Doctor of Philosophy degree with all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Congratulations.
Dr. Palmer, would you please take this opportunity to offer some remarks to our graduate and this audience? I want to express my deep appreciation to the Kansas Board of Regents, President Schultz, Provost Mason, Dean Shanklin, the other deans, and especially the faculty, staff, and students of Kansas State University. This honor is deeply meaningful given the accomplishments and global impact of the prior recipients. It is humbling to join those distinguished individuals in accepting this honorary doctorate. Equally, it is so meaningful given what this university did for me. I entered as a 17-year-old with no concept of what a university was or how it would be a life-changing experience. My professors and my fellow students at that time had a tremendous impact on me. We often have that impact but don't realize it because we don't realize it ourselves at that time. But it's an opportunity now for me to reach back to those professors and those students at that time, my colleagues, and say thank you. We're here today to celebrate your achievements. To put your achievements in context, let's imagine the world as a town of 100 people. In this global town, only 83 of them would be able to read and write. 64 would have completed secondary school, and seven would have completed a first university degree. Zero in this global town would have accomplished what you've accomplished in earning a graduate degree. You are what makes the university a center of innovation, every bit as much as Silicon Valley. If we examine as an example the software industry, in theory it should be widely dispersed. In fact, the goal of most software is to communicate among non-adjacent individuals. But that's not what the software industry does. It clusters. It clusters even in high-cost environments like the Silicon Valley, demonstrating the, the value proposition. Innovation centers, whether Silicon Valley or Kansas State University, bring people who ask questions and think deeply and expansively together in one place. Stephen Johnson, the author of Where Good Ideas Come From, A Natural History of Innovation, describes these places as facilitating the adjacent possible, interactions that require minds colliding together in the same manner that carbon molecules can collide and form a compound that never previously existed. These human interactions, these innovation centers, create novel solutions and are and will be necessary to address the world's most challenging problems. What you have learned in this environment, in this center of innovation, is far more than is what is reflected in the title of your thesis or your dissertation. There are four pillars that I want to leave you with today. The first of these is intelligence. And because I'm in Kansas and a native Kansan, I need to reach back to the Wizard of Oz. If you remember the description of brains by the Wizard of Oz to the Scarecrow, he said it was a mediocre commodity. That's not exactly true. On the other hand, you're all smart. But we need to realize that the smartest person on Earth has probably never had the opportunity you have just as perhaps the fastest man or woman on earth never had the opportunity to train on a real track with a real pair of shoes under the guidance of a fantastic coach. Your access to education has been a rare privilege and brings with it a great responsibility. The second pillar is knowledge. The facts, information, and skills acquired through experience or education. Certainly the university is not the only place one can acquire an education. A child learns about a hot stove or a hot pan experientially. However, the value of your graduate education is not in specific facts, but it's how you develop a scaffold and a strategy on how to build broad and deep knowledge that takes you beyond where you were before and where you are now. The third pillar is wisdom. And this is not about knowing the answer. It is the ability to choose among options, difficult choices, we only recognize wisdom when the right path has been taken among many possibilities. So what is wisdom? Well, one is, I'm wise enough to know that I don't know the answer. But I can offer you three aspects. The first of these is comprehension. 
You need to understand with depth the problem you are trying to solve. Failure to advance often results when one is actually trying to solve the wrong problem or only the most obvious symptom of an underlying problem. Don't assume, strive to comprehend. The second is reflection. Wisdom and an immediate response by email are diametrically opposed. Reflection takes real thought out of the classroom, out of the office, out of the laboratory. It requires incubation and consideration of multiple viewpoints and opinions. The third aspect is one we often forget when we think about wisdom, and that is compassion. Compassion for decisions pr previously made, paths previously taken, and not only by others, but by yourself. Compassion is integral to wisdom. Comprehension, reflection, compassion are all enriched by diversity. Diversity experience related to nationality, family background, gender, religion. All of these bring together different viewpoints that allow us to make wise decisions. And this is why diversity is so valued, whether at Silicon Valley or at Kansas State University. The final pillar is one that without it, intelligence, knowledge, and wisdom have no meaning, and that is purpose. The purpose of this institution in which we sit today is to lift society through scholarship and through its most valuable innovation, which is you. I came to K-State to study biology and later veterinary medicine. I did not foresee my purpose would lead me to where it has. That has evolved over time. I cannot pick your purpose or even guide you in your pursuit of it. I predict it will evolve like mine did, but I don't want you to ignore it. I urge you to always be seeking your purpose. I will leave you today with a parable. There were two stonemasons working in the midday sun, placing stone upon stone, building a church wall. A passerby came by and he asked the first stonemason what he was doing. The stonemason replied, I am a stonemason. This is my job. The passerby then came upon the second stonemason and asked him the same question. The second stonemason stopped, looked at the passerby and said, I am building a cathedral. I hope you find your cathedral and help build it. I wish you the best in doing so. Thank you. Dr. Palmer, please accept this gift as our token of appreciation for being our commencement speaker today. Join me in thanking Dr. Palmer for his inspirational commencement address and to congratulate him as our honorary doctorate recipient. Congratulations. Please join me in welcoming Linda Cook, Assistant Vice President of Communication at the K-State Alumni Association. Thank you, Dean Shakelin. Graduates, faculty, staff, and family members, I'm very pleased to be part of your very special day and to offer congratulations on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association, representing over 180,000 living graduates who will be your lifelong family. Today, as you receive your degree, we are honored to recognize you and all you have accomplished. And if this is your first degree from K-State, we also welcome you into a new relationship with your alma mater. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. I would like to share three core values that guide us in our mission to keep you connected with K-State. The first one is link. The Alumni Association provides that lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on the campus, around the, the nation, and internationally. Another value is tradition. You will likely celebrate a few traditions today as you sing the alma mater or take the KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. 
The third core value is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride and connection. When you see someone wearing purple at a K-State class ring, or even showing off that beautiful K-State license plate, you will feel that sense of family. In recognition of your graduation, the Graduate School and the Alumni Association are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the Alumni Association. Please enjoy the membership benefits and continue to be an active member. K-State alumni are the most loyal in the nation. In fact, members rank in the top five in the nation for percentage of graduates who are members. That loyalty is shared worldwide by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you must feel today as you earn your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. The Alumni Association is also pleased to present you with an exclusive alumni pin. As you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please be sure to let us know. We want to make sure that you're always connected to your K-State family. Congratulations and go State. Thank you, Linda. Tucker uh, Jones, President of the Graduate Student Council, will bring greetings from the students. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Graduate Student Council, I want to offer my sincerest congratulations on receiving your graduate degrees today. It is an honor to be a part of today's commencement ceremony and to recognize the hard work and accomplishments of the graduate students here at Kansas State University. As your Graduate Student Council President, I have had the pleasure of working closely with many of you. As such, I want to extend a special thank you to those of you who have served in leadership and service roles, as well as those of you who have participated in activities and events hosted by the Graduate Student Council. Without your involvement, the Graduate Student Council would not be the organization it is today. It is your service and your participation that has contributed to increasing the quality of graduate student life and making the overall graduate student experience the best it can be here at K-State. Congratulations on your accomplishments and best wishes for a successful future. I also want to take this time to thank President Schultz for his years of service and his dedication to graduate student education here at Kansas State University. Your encouragement and your support to the graduate student body has been an inspiration. On behalf of the Graduate Student Council, thank you for your service and good luck on your future endeavors. Thank you, Tucker. As a research institution, Kansas State University has a responsibility and obligation to provide not only a high quality undergraduate education, but to offer advanced education to students who have the ambition and the intellectual curiosity to de deepen their knowledge and command of their discipline. As our graduates know, this pursuit is demanding, yet invigorating process that they have gone through. I anticipate our graduates will remember their time at Kansas State in graduate school, as I still do mine today, as one of the most exciting yet humbling experience of their careers. Many have contributed to you completing your degrees today. Your family, the French and colleagues you've made at Kansas State University, and many others. Graduates, would you please acknowledge those who have supported you in your pursuit and completion of your graduate degree today by giving them a loud round of applause. Another important group that we'd like to recognize at this time that are very important to our students is their mentors. The graduate faculty of the university who have worked so closely with these graduates and contributed in many significant ways to the completion of their studies we are officially recognizing today. Graduate faculty, please stand so we can show our appreciation for the mentoring of these graduates with a round of applause. Thank you for your service to our graduate students and advancing graduate education at K-State. 
We will now recognize the Master of Fine Arts, Doctor of Philosophy, and Doctor of Education candidates. These candidates will advance to the platform to be hooded. We believe it is appropriate at this final ceremonial honor is performed by their graduate majors, the graduate's major professor in recognition of the contributions the faculty member has made in the development of these scholars. The graduates will then be presented their diplomas. Candidates, please rise and remain standing. Some of them are wondering. There's not a lot of enthusiasm. Come on with big smiles there, okay. President Schultz, on behalf of the graduate faculty of Kansas State University, I am pleased to present to you the doctoral and MFA graduate recipients spring of, of 2016. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon the recommendation of the graduate faculty, I am pleased to confer Kansas State University degrees upon you the graduating class of spring of 2016. Congratulations. <laughs> Candidates, you may now be seated until the marshal directs you to stand, be hooded, and receive your diploma. Please remember to bring your hood and your reader card with you. Master of Fine Arts in Fine Arts, Heidi Elizabeth Schaaf. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Human Ecology, Hospitality and Dietetics Administration, Jawoon Chua. Hooded by Carol Shanklin. Doctor of Philosophy in Human Ecology, Hospitality, Dietetics Administration, Emily Vaterlas Patton, hooded by Kevin Sauer. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Human Ecology, Apparel and Textiles, Hyatt Ablushi, hooded by Kim Hiller. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Human Ecology, Marriage and Family Therapy, Darren J. Knapp, hooded by Jared Anderson. Jonathan Jean Kimmis, hooded by Jared Durchi. Chandra Lastly, hooded by Joyce Baptiste. Doctor of Philosophy in Human Nutrition, Public Health Nutrition, Trias Mumadiono, hooded by Richard Rosencrans. Doctor of Philosophy in Agronomy, Budika Gladkaua, hooded by Gonga Hetiawachi. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Animal Science, Hyatt Lowell Grobus, hooded by Dwayne Davis. <laughs> Jessica Johnson, hooded by Timothy Rosell. Kadra Lynn Van Viber Kruger, hooded by John Gonzalez. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Entomology, Eric Codiero, hooded by James Campbell and Thomas Phillips. <laughs> Dinesh Aram hooded by John Roberson. <laughs> Dungan Andy Kim, hooded by John Roberson. <laughs> Prasanna Rongrit, hooded by John Roberson.
Doctor of Philosophy in Genetics, Sandra Margarita Dunkel, hooded by Jesse Poland. Doctor of Philosophy in Grain Science, Deanna Sheff, hooded by Subramaniam Badriyaj, co-hooded by Wulia Dugan. Doctor of Philosophy in Horticulture, May Elfar Atamimi, hooded by Candace Shoemaker. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Biochemistry, Kasim Mohammed Al Sahel, hooded by Michael Kenost. <laughs> Sunil Bansal, hooded by Timothy Darit. Ashima Kosla, hooded by Catherine Schrick. Yua Che, hooded by Timothy Darit. Prashant Shadanad. Wani, hooded by Yarun Roloffs. MB Kwan, hooded by Brett Sanderhoff. Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry. Amendra Fernando, hooded by Christine Aikens. Adam Kell, hooded by Rizard Yankoviak. Aruni Malalasekera, hooded by Stefan Bossman. Yayani Nadira Palawela, hooded by Paul Edward Smith. <laughs> Thuranga Wejithunga, hooded by Krister Ackeroy. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Economics, Moyad Al Rasasi, hooded by Lance Bachmeyer. Yung Jiao, hooded by Yanmin Cheng. Jules Yimga, hooded by Philip Gale. Doctor of Philosophy in Geography, Brandon Harley Haddock, hooded by Lisa Butler Harrington. <laughs> William Adam Weatherholt, hooded by Lisa Butler Harrington. Doctor of Philosophy in Mathematics, Badria Al Salami, hooded by Chris Pinner. <laughs> Surya Thapa Magar, hooded by Andrew Bennett. Nan Tran, hooded by Andrew Bennett. Doctor of Philosophy in Microbiology, Chan Pong, hooded by Stefan Rottenberg. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Physics, Yuli Wong Heinsen, hooded by Christopher Sorensen.
Sachika Toda McBride, hooded by Yuri Marabin. Doctor of Philosophy and Psychology, Alexander Thomas Jackson, hooded by Patrick Knight. <laughs> Leslie R. Crome, hooded by Patrick Knight. Andrew T. Marshall, hooded by Kimberly Kirkpatrick. William Stewart Wyrock, hooded by Satoris Culbertson. Doctor of Philosophy and Sociology, Edward L. W. Green, hooded by L. Susan Williams. Arjun Karel, hooded by Laszlo Kulcher. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy and Statistics, Bo Tong, hooded by Haiyan Huang. Doctor of Philosophy and Veterinary Pathobiology, Charlie Abram Call, hooded by David Renter. Doctor of Philosophy in Biological and Agricultural Engineering, Mulaken Eyayu Muchen, hooded by Stacy Hutchinson. Doctor of Philosophy in Chemical Engineering, Michael Wells, hooded by Mary Rizak. Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science, Alexandru Gavriel Bardas, hooded by Scott Delouch. Nick Herndon, hooded by Donja Karaja. Ruhith Parimi, hooded by Donja Karaja. Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical Engineering, S. M. Shafil Alam, hooded by Bala Natarajan. Lu Chang, hooded by Bala Natarajan. Ahmad Malakpur, hooded by Anil Hawa. Doctor of Philosophy in Industrial Engineering, Zhenzhen Shi hooded by David Ben Arya. Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical Engineering, Nashim Rumani, hooded by Kevin Lees. Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering, Saeda Rubayat Aziz, hooded by Sunanda Deshanayaka. Amir Momeni, hooded by Robert Peterman. Amud Gudvan, hooded by Kyle Riding. Doctor of Philosophy in Curriculum and Instruction, Charlene Fender Atkins, hooded by Sherry Martini. Lacey Finley, hooded by Rosemary Taleb. Jody Diane Lees, hooded by Chong Hee Kim, co hooded by Sally Yonke.
Lisa K. Tabor, hooded by Jacqueline Spears. Doctor of Education in Special Education, Felicity Marie Bullock, hooded by Jim Teagarden, co-hooded by Mickey Losinski. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Student Counseling and Personnel Services, Amanda Jo Fairbanks, hooded by Linda Thurston. Doctor of Education in Adult Occupational and Continuing Education, Timothy Howard Civils, Jr., hooded by Roy Sand Collins. <laughs> Robert Kaiser, hooded by Jeff Zacharakis. Doctor of Philosophy in Adult, Occupational, and Continuing Education, Vince Carlisle, hooded by Sarah Jane Fishback. Congratulations to each of you and best wishes in the future. Let's recognize our graduates. Your turn now. We will now recognize the master's degree candidates. Candidates, please rise and remain standing. President Schultz, on behalf of the graduate faculty of Kansas State University, I am pleased to present to you the master's degree recipients of spring 2016. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon the recommendation of the graduate faculty, I am pleased to confer Kansas State University degrees upon you, the graduating class of 2016. Congratulations. Candidates, you now may be seated until the marshal directs you to stand and receive your diploma. Please bring your reader card with you to the stage. Master of Science in Academic Advising, Jody Ann Cheatham. Brittany Ray Cohen. Rebecca Cherie Compton. 
Jenna Lee Gannon. Latonya McLean. Twin Nguyen. Carrie Schmidt. Sarah Lydia Snyder. Margaret Sumrold. Anna Alicia Talento. Trinidad Nicholas Chavez. I'm sorry, Master of Science in Adult Occupational and Continuing Education. Deborah Chen. Master of Science in Adult Occupational and Continuing Education, Joshua William Clemens. Chad David Corbin. Carl Joseph Danko. Timothy Justin Downing. John Christopher Ford. Christopher James A. Hart. Jenny Hartsock. Ryan Chad Hofstra. Daniel Huff. Stephen Jostin. Alex Keller. Karina Lucia Keem. Tom Kirchgesner. Ulia Mancari. Cameron Maples. Benjamin Anthony McDaniel. Brian Eric Noland. Jamie Peer. Tiffany Lynn Phillips. Tyrone Powers. Lindsay Ann Brayan. Nicholas Dado Ryan. Joshua D. Schultz. Tritonia Nee Scott. Evan Austin Seiwert. Sarah M. Smith. Timothy Sorensen. John Thomas. Aaron Thornton. Garrett Peyton Turley. Tim Walton. Keisha Washington. Samuel Wigley. Patrick Yoon. Master of Science in Curriculum and Instruction, Catherine Patricia Coughlin. Ryan Whitney Heideman. Diploma presented by Bill Snyder. Kimberly McWilliams. Anna Marie Kohaki. Kaylee Myers. Christopher Apollo Preston. Elizabeth Ann Fairchild Riker. Diploma presented by Fred Fairchild.
Christine Lauren Setley. Master of Science in Educational Leadership, Michelle K. Hilliard. Jose Antonio Hulgin. Alex Lynn Lewis. Rachel Elisa Maynan. Beth Neitzel. Shannon Vanderbilt. Master of Science in Special Education, Ashley Bonson. Katie Cook. Brianna Melilas. Brandy Roshin. Daniel Sheely. Master of Science in Student Counseling and Personnel Services, Katie Allgood. John Quickly. John Buckley. Christina Marie Anderson. Connor William Bennett. Cassidy Ann Bristol. Jake Rollin Brown. Georgia Leanne Campbell. Cassandra Morgan Collins. Lindsay Angela Dillon. Derek James Edwards. Kyle Robert Evans. Jessica Garden. Eddie Gonzalez. Anna Elizabeth Holbrook. Manpreet Kaur. Anna Victoria McCoy Kimball. Luke Michael Clefstead. A.J. Kloss. Sophia Lino. Derek Stanley McDonald. Taylor Howard Mather. Katie Ann McCloskey. Olivia Ruth Miller. Melissa Olson. Sarah Peters. Carlos G. Rodriguez. Caitlin Smith. Whitney Morgan Uncafer. Clara Hall Hannah Valadares Kentz. Stephen Todd Yates. Carly Ann Cummings. Shauna Nicole Miners. Master of Agribusiness, Jennifer McDonald. Eric Arthur Putnam. Travis Schultz. Theresa Marie Sisong. Master of Science in Agricultural Economics, Logan Levi Britton. Dylan Wyatt Gar. Elizabeth Gutierrez Pionz. Henry Lamont Ott. Jace Stobel. Bay Cotton Yao. 
Master of Science in Agricultural Education and Communication, Danielle Christine Holliday. Audrey Ellen King. Katie Rowling. Casey Levon Wondersee. Cassie Levon Wondersee. Master of Science in Agronomy, Jonathan Paul Brockelman. Randy Clark. Jonathan Kathura, Kurato. Nosheen Fatima. Miriam Nicole Gutierrez. Bailey Marie McHenry. Dorothy Minefri. Joseph Tucker Moberly. Trenton Newell. Jared Schaffer. Sandeep Tomar. Alessandra Tonan Rosa. Cassandra Valentin, Master of Science in Animal Science. Cassandra Valentin McKillop. <laughs> Megan Mortz. Jerry Knoll. Julie Ann Sauls. Elena Karen Wilfong. Master of Science in Entomology, Ashley Huff. Master of Science in Food Science, Elizabeth Ann Clark. Bianca McCullough. Kelsey Marie Morrison. Lu Huang. Master of Science in Genetics, Hamida Mahmoud. Master of Science in Grain Science, Samuel Cook. Emily Lauren Fort. Andrea Jeffrey. Julie Renee Calvoda. Cameron Lois McGuire. Lewis McGuire. Elena Mooney. Jai Liang Shi, Master of Science in Horticulture, Shandalar Rundal, Ta Master of Science in Plant Pathology, Taylor Fisher, Master of Science in Landscape Architecture, Erin Marie Wilson, Master of Regional and Community Planning, Yi Hong Yan. Master of Arts in Communication Studies, Kelsey Taylor Abuli. Christopher Dale John Otten. Katrina Hanna. Sarah Marie Liming. William Lucio. Rebecca Sue Miller. Amy Nichols, Master of Arts in English, Cormac Bajer, Brennan Lane Bestwick, Elizabeth Marjorie Kays, Caitlin May Downing, James Hunter Gilson. Henry Giovanetti. John Wayne Henderson. Christine Elaine Kimmy. Rebecca Lee Rowe. Robert J. Sanders. Stephen Andy Schubert. Carly Cecilia Stitham. 
Master of Arts in Geography, Penny Bladel. Master of Arts in History, Lauren Nicole Clausen. Carolyn Elaine Taylor. Master of Arts in Modern Languages, Sarah Elizabeth Brady. Isaac Webster Fisher. Tucci Gunger Mesler. John Kirby. Marilas Naranjo. Seth Oldham. Lila Perubic. Aaron Michelle Sean Redecker. Sinran Huang. Yuan Huang. Master of Arts in Political Science, Allison Tanner. Master of Arts in Security Studies, Alyssa Quincent Jackson. Jeffrey Moore. Justin Ottenwalter. William John Rector. John T. Walchonsky. Master of Arts in Sociology, Jamila Anderson. Rebecca Reina Brown. Elena Rose Farney. Maria Vivian Poos. Laura Danielle Murphy. Alexandra Pimentel. Master of Arts in Theater, Fatma Alquadfan. Danielle Byrne Levings. Brian Keith Anderson, Master of Music. Alexander Aaron Cook. Ye Hua. Erica Lee Sego. Nicole Robin Unger. Rachel Margaret Valeriali. Master of Public Administration, Valencia Monique Vargas Garcia. Gashia Kiani. Alexi Akoya. Aaron Brooke Pope. Christina Beth Quigley. Jared Lee Wassinger. Madeline Marie Westman. Master of Science in Biochemistry, Jacob Hodge. Master of Science in Biology, Vinny Bandari. Master of Science in Geology, David Kowal. Chance Reese. Logan Stevens. Master of Science in Kinesiology, Trenton David Colburn. William Heffernan. Heidi Brown. Tessa Westhoff. Master of Science in Mass Communications, Joseph Chapes. Nick Homburg. Ursula Kamanga. David Bondi Valuvenos K. Haley Morrison. Gingyan Dra. Master of Science in Mathematics, John Abu Rashed. Master of Science in Physics, Sarah Crandall. 
Master of Science in Statistics, Chandi Tsao. Jiena Gu. Alexander McLellan. Master of Accountancy, John Augustine. Matthew David Brill. Melissa Lee Brunna. Carly Canaday. Benjamin Allen Clary. Tyler Blaze Combs. Keaton Pagret Dugan. Devin Feist. Jenna Lee Ferguson. Kelly Marie Golick. Maggie Marie Griffin. Jing Jing. Derek Heinz. Julie Johnson. Gage Braden Keppel. Zachary Peter Colrus. Amanda Lynn McKeeman. Alexandria Irene Messenheimer. Allison Miller. Andrea Christine Novak. Dale William Knuckles. Melissa Shoemaker. Trevor Ryan Swim. Master of Business Administration, Kayvon Baromzade. Travis Hogan. Justin Lindensten. Alicia Latoya Miller. Trenton Joseph Modine. Sean Pieschel. Anthony Adam Silvernagel. Nicholas Strom. Master of Science in Architectural Engineering, Christopher Brandon Goodale. Richard Kim. Cassandra K. Stahlbaumer. Colin Patrick Wheeler. Master of Science in Biological and Agricultural Engineering, Justin Frazier. Kimberly Plevniak. Kaolin Eileen Saul. Yuki Song. Master of Science in Civil Engineering, Abadi Mubarak Al Ali. Master of Science in Civil Engineering, Rebecca Ann Dode. Elaine Lamb. Emily Grace Mesker. Amanshu Suraj Putel. Sing Dong Wu. Master of Science in Computer Science, Yosef Yuli. Deepthi Galopati. Anisha Rayapati. Navya Rayapati. Wenbo Wang. Master of Science in Electrical Engineering, Tyler Joseph Dill. Cambiz Karimi. 
Master of Science in Industrial Engineering, Bryce Garver. Marilyn Faith Griebel. Melissa McGuire. Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Aaron James Schmidt. Master of Science in Operations Research, Derek Wade Christensen. Megan Menth. Stacy Newmaster. Master of Science in Apparel and Textiles, Manoshika Ramashemi. Master of Science in Family and Community Services, Dawn Downs. Jessica Joanne Garate. Master of Science in Family Studies and Human Services, Haley Jean Anderson. Master of Science in Family Studies and Human Services, Communication Sciences and Disorders, Sheena Ray Bear. Tara May Brunna. Aisha Gonzalez. Jessica Caroline Grinsteed. Emily Luann Russell. Trisha Holliday. Taylor Lee Elizabeth Hoylsman. Caroline Murray. Taylor Louise Nading. Allison Michelle O'Rourke. Jennifer Schmidt. Master of Science in Family Studies and Human Services, Early Childhood Education, Casey Marie Gormley. Casey Joe Locklear. Lane Diane Rotes. Diane Arlene Grant. Master of Science in Family Studies and Human Services, Marriage and Family Therapy. Alan Mallory. Bryant Stephen Miller. Christine Stevenson. Master of Science in Family Studies and Human Services, Youth Development, Stephanie Alderman Oler. Marisa Larson. Kelly Diane Lucas. Tricia Moneypenny. Master of Science in Hospitality and Dietetics Administration, E. Chow. Master of Science in Human Nutrition, Kelsey Casey. Miao Alice Hui. Master of Science in Personal Financial Planning, John Nestor Concepcion. Catherine Ann Schwerfager. Master of Public Health, Nicholas Scott Thompson. Daniel Perez. Master of Professional Technology, Shuab Umar. Master of Science in Veterinary Biomedical Science, Heather Ann Davis.
Congratulations to each of you. We wish you the best as you go out into the world and make your unique remark, your unique mark. We hope each of you will stay engaged with Kansas State University. Seek opportunities to mentor students. Keep your mentors updated on your successes and recruit more K-State excellent students. Remember, you are our best ambassadors and recruiter. I encourage each of you to be active members of the K-State family by sharing your talents and gifts to support future graduate students and enhance the graduate student experience. Please join me in recognizing Kansas State University 2016 graduates one more time. I'd like to take this final opportunity to express appreciation for all those who have contributed to the success of today's ceremony. I want to thank the marshals, members of the graduate school team, the staff of communication and marketing, and the staff of the provost office who have all worked very hard to make sure the order of the ceremony went well today. Above all, on behalf of the faculty, I want to thank you, our graduates, for sharing a part of your lives. Please stay in touch. We invite everyone to attend the reception on the concourse near section six. We ask the audience to remain seated until the graduates, faculty, and platform party have made their way to the concourse. Now let's stand and join Ms. Madison Moore in singing our alma mater as we close the ceremony. It's on page three of your program.